Welcome back everyone. So today we're going to take a look at the James Hutchinson case again out of Middletown, Ohio. After recently the biological mother of Brittany Gosney and her stepfather who helped raise Brittany Gosney came forward and spoke with Associated Press reporters and a reporter from Fox 19 there in Ohio they shared what they've been going through in the almost six months since James Hutchinson disappeared. And I warn you, again, like every case that has to involve the, around the death of a child, viewer discretion is strongly advised. And thank you for joining me today. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Recently, Betty Trevette and Daryl Trevette, that is the biological mother of Brittany Gosney and Brittany Gosney's stepfather, who basically raised Brittany Gosney from a teenager up to you know, the adulthood, spoke about how they've been getting along in the six months since Brittany Gosney uh, did this horrific act um, of violence towards her son, James Hutchinson, and his two siblings, giving some insight into the family dynamic that led up in the year prior to James Hutchinson's inevitable death. It all started to unravel in Brittany Gosney's life approximately nine months prior Brittany had gotten into a relationship with James Hamilton a man that most of the family did not like they did not approve of her being in a relationship with they where Brittany Gosney had lived with the three children with both of the Trevettes in town there and everything was going well the, the children were well cared for, they, were, they had their needs met, they were closed, everything was going along great. They were in school and everything was, was you know, as it should be. James needed nothing in life. He had love, he had support, he had food on the table every day for him. But Brittany Gosney got involved with James Hamilton. A man who has had a history of violence, drug addiction, and some on and off again, you know, um, run-ins with the law because of his drugs and alcohol. She had become involved with, with him and according to Larry Trevett, the stepfather, it, she had become not just involved with him, but infatuated with him, believing that he was her knight in shining armor. But everybody else could see through the, you know, the facade that he had put up, that he wasn't someone that she should be involved with. After only a short period of time, Brittany Gosney would move out of their home, the Trevette's home, with all three of her children to the other side of town and in in a quick quick order cut off all ties with her mom her stepfather the grandparents and all the aunts everything that James Hutchinson needed and wanted in his life his family his friends his connections was all gone Moving to the other side of town, you know, relocating him into a completely different school district, friends in the neighborhood, emotional support from family, it was all gone. In the last six months of James Hutchinson's life, 
the abuse they believe started then. And they believe that James Hutchinson was singled out for the abuse because James Hutchinson was his biological father's favorite child and he was the favorite of the grandfather. And this is why they, they believe it also played into the fact why Brittany Gosney decided that day inevitably to leave him behind there at Rush Run Park, abandoning him for the wolves or other natural environment to take him and put the other two back in. A way to get back at the family for what she felt was you know, her own issues with being slighted because the family didn't want her to be involved with James Hamilton. They didn't want her and have those, they didn't want those kids anywhere around this man. They knew he was up to no good and that he would be no good for those children. But when they cut off ties and then she inevitably stopped talking to the family altogether and stopped, you know, going to their homes for any kind of reason at all, driving past their homes every day. She sealed the inevitable end there. James Hutchinson, unfortunately, his, his time was, was few on this earth. What happened to him should never happen. Both believe didn't throw little James into the Ohio River. They believe that they buried him somewhere deep into the woods. Why? To cover up the abuse, the signs of abuse. In the six months prior to his death, the grandparents saw James and his siblings one time in six months. Spoke and was very clear that he believes that Brittany Gosney and James Hamilton both deserve to die for what they did. Betty, in the interview and video, just stood there with her head down, shaking her head in disbelief that all of this has happened. The grief, the sorrow that the two of them have felt has been so much that it's almost unbearable for either one of them to come forward, even now, to speak to anybody about what has happened in their family since then. According to an, an administrative hearing that was held last week, the state of Ohio has decided that the best place for James Hutchinson's two siblings is to be in a foster care situation and not with the grandmother who could not um, financially or emotionally support these two children. Neither Larry Trevette nor Betty Trevette are in a position financially or emotionally at this point in their lives to be able to support the, the two remaining siblings of James Hutchinson. The foster care situation is an open foster care situation where it is um, they have left it open for James Hutchinson's biological father, the father of two of you know the uh, siblings, to be able to if he is able to get his himself back on his feet, to be able to get both of the children back. This, the state of Ohio and Ch child services is working with him to find a stable home to be able to get you know um, everything else in place so he can get his family back. He has not lost custody of the two remaining children and the two remaining children have you know um, visitation with their biological father and grandparents 
twice a month. But they are also receiving you know, quite a bit of counseling at this point because of what they've seen, what they know happened to their biological brother. The heartache, the pain that this family must be going through at this time is immense. The trials for Brittany Gosney and James Hamilton are due to start in September and October. According to the courthouse there and the district attorney, everything right now is on track to start in September and October. They don't foresee any delays, no weird motions be filed by a, an attorney who only practices civil law. But nothing, nothing is going to heal the wounds completely of what has happened to this family and to these two children who had to watch everything that took place that day. Not only their mother discarding their brother, then their mother running their brother over, but then picking him up in his deceased body and laying him out in the van and then bringing him home for two days rolled up in a blanket laid out underneath an air conditioner so his body would not smell. This is what they did, ladies and gentlemen, before discarding him like a bag of trash. These two siblings of his are going to have a lifetime, a lifetime of issues over this. Larry Trevette may want death for, for Brittany and for James for what they did. Rightfully so. Maybe Betty, at this point, can't bring herself to want the death penalty for her own daughter. But she knows. She knows in her heart and in her mind what her daughter did that day and what she may have done and allowed to happen to James Hutchinson before then was uncalled for, unneeded, drugs and a man. That is why James Hutchinson is gone today.